Hello there, this is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. It is Tuesday, January the 25th, 2022. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. It was uh, about minus 47 with the wind chill this morning, and now it is minus, only minus 33, so I did leave the house today. How are you doing there, Libra? Hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you, and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. Will not resonate with every Libra out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Libra. Spirit. Bottom of the deck, seven of wands, overcoming obstacles. First card out. The strength, the strength. This is Leo energy. This talks about taming the beast inside. Also having the strength to get through things that are challenging in your life. What is crossing this? The Fool, Aries energy, a start of a beautiful new journey, taking a leap of faith. He's got his sombrero, he's got his poncho, he's got his little bag pack, guitar, and there's a butterfly flying over the edge of a cliff. Taking a leap of faith, Libra. Consciously known, ooh, the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Money. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is the Queen of Money. She's independent, self-sufficient, grounded, balanced, stable, businesswoman, makes her own money, takes care of her money. Business person, I should say, sorry. Unconscious. Ooh, the eleven eleven card. Four of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is my party card. Uh, this can talk about the increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. Um, this might be a dress rehearsal for a wedding, dress rehearsal for a hand fasting. Increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. Recent past. Ooh, you were playing, you were dancing with the devil. I understand. This is Capricorn energy. This person is a liar, cheater, thief. No doubt about it. Um, this talks about self-imposed bondage. And I would not be surprised at all if this person has alcohol, drugs, sex, addiction. Probably all of them. So, I'm glad that the devil here is in your rearview mirror. Looks like Baphomet. People playing guitars over here. Candles. Toxic toxic individual toxic individual near future yeah moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters six of swords swords are air energy gemini libra aquarius it talks about moving away from a painful cycle and moving into a better cycle well i guess so if you were dancing with the devil over here i don't like that person i don't like that energy Especially not for you, Libra. Where do you find yourself? For everybody. Knight of Cups. Oh, Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is an immature person. This person is romantic, charming, a sweet talker, handsome or pretty. But comes up to you. I got a cup for you, Libra. I got a cup. This person is, however, not a consistent lover. May have a trail of broken hearts behind him. This could be your devil. This could be the, the devil that you were dealing with. External influences. Ace of Swords, new, clear, honest communication. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aces are all about new. New, honest, clear communication. Someone wants to talk to you and clear the air. I would not listen to them if it was the devil. Anybody else? Yeah. Don't don't fall back into his trap. 
hopes and or fears. Four of Cups. Well, this person hurt you, didn't they? Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is sad, apathetic, indifferent. Looking at these three em empty cups. But Source Spirit Universe wants you to love yourself first. Trying to give you that cup of love. You need to love yourself before you can love someone else. And you need to love yourself before you can let anybody else um, love you. If you don't love yourself first, that's when the, the, devil, the devil comes in. I know, I know. Hopes, uh, extra, or overall outcome. Ooh, the star, the angel card, the wish card. What are you wishing for? There's the star. She's got a headdress, poncho, partly in the water. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. What are you wishing for? I like the star. So, yes, of course, seven of wands, overcoming obstacles. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There have been, well, I think this person threw, there's been a lot of obstacles coming your way, but you have persevered and you have fought through each and every obstacle and you will fight through this as well. Ooh, look it. Happiness, joy, bliss. The sun, Leo energy. Start off with the strength, Leo energy. The sun. Happiness, joy, bliss. Look at this gorgeous yellow sun. Sunflowers, people playing guitars, yellow flowers. Happiness, joy, bliss coming into your life. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. This is kind of um, minor arcana hermit energy. Kind of reminds me of the Queen of Pentacles 2. This is being single. Because you're self-sufficient. Being single because you can pay your own bills. The person is independent, grounded, balanced, stable. Business person makes their own money, takes care of their money, self-sufficient. Ooh, see, see, stop dancing with the devil. This is two of cups. Cups are water energy. Can't Pisces, Scorpio. True love, soulmates, divine counterparts. They got hearts for eyes and nose. The water from his cup is literally spilling into her cup. I love that imagery. And they have beautiful bright red hearts shining through their rib cages. Two of cups. True love, soulmates, divine counterparts. And yes, the end of a painful cycle. Ten swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the end of a very painful cycle. Well, yes, it was. But you are moving on. And here's the, your star energy. The good thing about Ace of Wands is it won't get any worse. And you're moving on to a new beginning with new honest, clear communication. The strength. The fool starting a new journey. Yes. Queen of money. Commitment. Moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. New honest, clear communication. The star, the angel card. Overcoming obstacles. Happiness, joy, bliss. Single because I'm self-sufficient. True love, soulmate energy, and the end of a very, very painful cycle. You were dancing with the devil. Got your heart broken. It may have been this inconsistent lover, but I'm not sure. You, you got your heart broken here. But this is the end of this cycle. And a new beautiful, you have the fool, new beautiful cycle. Wouldn't be surprised if we see the death when we get to the majors either. Fork in the road, moving forward. Choosing a path. Yeah. Truth be told. Kind of like that with the Ace of Swords here. I think you found out something about this person. Truth be told. And this is kind of like Libra Energy 2, which is Queen of Swords, Justice, 
cutting this person out of your life. And over oh, here. And you deserve peace. Finances and career, financial issues are in, uh, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And that's, you're just concentrating on money. You know, we had the queen of money. We had the queen of money. We had the nine of money. Nine of pentacles, nine of money. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Soulmate energy. Bottom of the deck, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. The fool. Start of a brand new beautiful journey. You have the two fool twice. And the devil twice. The devil twice. Capricorn energy. You were dancing with the devil. Toxic behavior, lying, cheating, stealing, self-imposed bondage, addictions, alcohol, drugs, sex. This person did you wrong. This person did, did you wrong. You cut them out and you're better off. We had the strength, the fool, a beautiful new journey, commitment, queen of money, moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters, moving on. New honest, clear communication. The beautiful star, angel card, wish card. It looks like you're wishing for your soulmate. Overcoming obstacles. Happiness, joy, bliss. Self sufficient. True love. End of a painful cycle. Fork in the road. Truth be told. Peace. Finances and career. Soulmate. Romantic feelings. You're focusing on your money right now instead of this devil energy and you're opening yourself up for soulmate energy to come in. All right, Libra. Have a great rest of your day. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. Bye for now. If you like my video, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you.